Hello everyone, this is Matt and welcome to the 26th part of my Quick Rules Jam playthrough. Today I'm going to be playing through 50 Shades of Grey by Iago. I think that says Iago, but okay. Quite the referential... Oh, yeah, quite the title. And we already have a, a pretty spooky atmosphere. Huh. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, it's one of those masks that just kind of takes me back to the time I first saw Quake, I think. It's very dark and foreboding. But okay. The bright masks here are gonna come in handy. Or telling just what I'm running into. Oh. Yeah, this is a very quick looking map. Oh. Yeah, those guys are just Statues, I guess. Yeah, this is very, like, nostalgic looking, I guess. Yeah, just this. A big building floating in the in the void. Yeah, for some reason that really looks like quake to me. Yeah, I like this. We do have a couple secrets. Not sure I'm actually gonna find any of them. Sure is a lot of crags. But yeah, nothing too bad so far. That is a lot of enforcers. We still have one more. Start running around. Oh, there's a super shotgun down there. Yeah, I want that. I wonder if I can just make the jump. I can. Oh. Yeah, so those guys weren't statues after all. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Very... Yeah, like I said, to me it looks quite nostalgic. Okay, that's a lot of Hell Knights up there. Probably not best to rush this, them like this, but sure. Yeah, I don't know. Something about this just looks very like looks very much like classic Quake for me. I heard. Yeah, yeah, I heard he for somewhere down there. Oh, there he is. The four is easily like what my favorite monster in Quake in terms of just like those, you know, the visual of it. I don't really like fighting them that much, but 
But man, the design is just really good, you know? Yeah, like I was like I was saying, the design of the four is like really cool. Oh. Oh, that's a little weird and cool. This is a little bit tense, actually. Just the way that the Hell Knight statues can come to life and attack you. But you're not really sure if they actually are going to do that. Okay, um... What am I supposed to do here? Do I have to jump on one of these, maybe? I think I do. Actually getting the timing right is going to be interesting, though. Oh. No, I think I can just, like, walk up here. Uh, okay. Yeah, this was gonna happen sooner or later. Oh, okay, so it's just like modern platforming rules and games. Okay. Do I have to come over here? I can see something up there. Okay, so these guys are... Yeah, I can walk right through them. Okay, I'm on the platform. What purpose does this serve then? I am not sure. Maybe there's something down here? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. These guys are just sort of chilling. Oh, wait a second. I didn't try pressing into these obelisks here. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, something that you got kind of have to keep in mind when you're playing Quake.
Okay, well... Okay, yeah. Uh... Yeah, let me look for nails down here. Yeah. Yeah. No more nails, I think. But okay. Got all the kills, so yeah. I think that's I think it's about time I just leave this place. Oh, Oh, that's a really cool exit room. Yeah, or somewhat short map. Uh, well, if you don't count the part where I completely forgot that maybe I should have touched those obelisks a little sooner. Okay. I think I did this one. Yeah. So yeah, that was 50 Shades of Grey. Pretty enjoyable map. And... Yeah, now I'm a little bit confused about how I want to do this, but yeah, we did that one. So, oh, we have a, quite a few more in here. Uh, let me just come over here and make sure it's this one. Yeah, play through Fifty Shades of Grey. So, logic states I have to come over here to avoid Corp XCM Lab 0016. But yeah, yeah, so yeah, like usual, this has met. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video in which I'm going to link through Void Corp XPM Lab 0016. So, see you there.